Set in the beautiful countryside in the heart of England is the Mount St. Bernard Abbey that's been brewing up a rich history for centuries. Father Joseph, how are you? I'm very well. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can you show us around? Certainly, yeah. Come yeah? this way. Yeah. Okay. We got an exclusive look at the very private life of Trappist monks. A rare glimpse inside one of only 10 Trappist abbeys in the world, where along with their prayers, these monks also make beer. Well, this used to be the monks' dining room. This ancient yeah. hall is now the their brewery, in the name of the Father, where every day the begins with head Spirit. abbot blessing the process. May Almighty God bless our daily work, and may he bring this work to a successful conclusion. Then, with the help of volunteers from the local community, some 8,000 bottles of this stout brew can be boxed in just one day. But it all begins with the grain. This is the barley. We can't tell you the exact kind because that's a secret. But it goes in here to be milled, and then it all gets mixed in here with the same well water that they used since the abbey was founded. The next step, these huge tanks where the beer sits for two weeks. Now this is the fermentation process. So we're talking some 1,400 gallons of beer that will go up these pipes, and it comes out here. Now this is the part where we have to taste it for quality, so let's see. Yeah, it's not bad, it's on its way. Yeah, so it's gonna re-ferment in the bottles now, and we won't sell that until it's three months old. All right, so it's almost there. Yeah, almost. Yeah. This strong beer called Tint Meadow is named after a nearby field where the monks settled centuries ago. And the box, a representation of their home. We met Brother Martin, who gave us a tour up the winding staircase of the bell tower. And to the top, where he talked about his calling to be a monk. I gave everything away, really everything. When I came here, I had only a bicycle. That was 30 years ago. Today, he's the Abbey's official photographer, capturing the private life of his fellow brothers, including Father Anselm. At 92 years old, he's the oldest monk here. In the old days, in the 1860s and 70s, the monks brewed beer here. Mm -hmm. We never found their original recipe, but there's a good report it was very good quality beer. A lost recipe, but the brothers recreated their own. Father, you don't look 92, so how did you stay so young looking? The fresh air and love. <laughs> yeah. And Tim Meadow, I suppose. <laughs> Love it. And by the way, the proceeds that the monks get from the sale of their beers goes to uh, fund their modest lifestyle and the community service that they do. And guys, as journalists, you know, it's important that we know all aspects of our story. So we've got to taste this beer. We sent you guys some beer, so Thank you have you. some to try. Do you mind if I get a bottle? Yeah. <laughs> so a bottle. Because, you know, I mean, we need to taste the quality of this Absolutely. beer. Right. Make Research. sure it's good. Right. So, yeah. Good nice. quality. Cheers, oh, Megan. Megan. Megan going mm -hmm. right from the bottle. I nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Hey, Look, I'm you know getting what? notes of, I think, caramel notes. Oh, yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> notes of strawberry jam. Oh. So I think it's time to spin those Smuckers jars. Oh, Thanks so much, Thank Megan. You, Megan.